Welcome to Chef Alley's Farm Fresh Kitchen. Join us as we meet from the land of Kansas members and explore new recipes using local Kansas ingredients and products. Good afternoon and welcome on into Midday in Kansas. We're mm -hmm. talking about one of my favorite food groups, bacon, <laughs> plus pork and stuff like that with uh, a couple pork farmers uh, from Lebanon, Kansas, the geographical center of the United States. We have Caden and Emily with us in uh, Chef Alley as well, uh, talking about how people uh, can mess up a good piece of pork. Okay, and let's start with you. You guys have a yeah. very unique uh, 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 pork that you offer. We'll have Emily talk about that. But you say that pork farmers kind of get a bad rap when it comes to pork chops, right? Yes. Yeah, so, so pork chops in particular, because it's loin meat, it's very, very lean, uh, which means it's very dry and can be easily, very easily overcooked. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what we do as part of our mission is to educate people on how to not overcook their pork because, and they overcook it, it's mm -hmm. a bad eating experience. <laughs> right. And so. you guys take the heat. Right. Yes. Yeah. 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 There is a little bit of a buffer, though, with the pork that you provide because of the type of pig that you guys grow, correct? Right. So we actually raise Berkshire hogs. And um, Berkshire is a heritage breed, and they are known for having um, marbling within their meat. So that means marbling, there's a little Definitely. bit of extra fat. And um, the fat means that our pork is going to be more juicy and flavorful. Uh -huh. Okay, good stuff there. Yeah. Uh, Allie, and the key to cooking pork, like uh, Caden talked about. So, yes, pulling mm -hmm. out your instant read meat thermometer is super important because pink pork is now perfect. We can have that little tinge of pink, whereas we used to have to cook it to 160. We now want the finished temperature to be 145. Okay. So, remember, we have to take it off 10 degrees before it reaches that because it's still going to continue to cook. Mm -hmm. All right. So, also, the way we want to temp a pork chop, I didn't get to this earlier, but we want to come in from the side because this is not really super. Um, thick mm -hmm. so we'll come in from the side and just go right to the center of the meat and that's how you want to check how you want to temp a pork chop. Okay. The other cool thing about their bacon when I unpackaged it today so we're gonna have two recipes today this is bacon candy um, that we've made here for Mother's Day and then this is a brown sugar center loin chop that we marinated uh, actually it was in a little bit of a brine mm -hmm. and I think mom would probably love either one of these recipes and you'll be able to find the recipe at fromthelandofkansas.com or also at Chef Alley. All right very nice yes. very nice and if you want to find some of uh, the Our Family the Farms and you pork do. Uh, you can find it at Wamego, so Eudora, give us a specific real quick. Um, at the Jeans Heartland Food Stores in Eudora and Wamego and then you can also find us online at ourfamilyfarmsks.com. Good stuff. Yeah. It's time to eat the bacon. It now. is. Let's do it. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching Midday in Kansas. We hope to see you tomorrow morning starting at 5 a.m. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Make sure to tune in the second and fourth Thursday of every month to meet more From the Land of Kansas members. Remember, visit FromTheLandOfKansas.com to explore and find Kansas foods, products, and services.